We are a number of steps closer, ladies and gentlemen, to that Polkadot ETF we have been talking about on this channel for so long. And when we initially brought up the idea that Polkadot would have a spot ETF within the United States, just like we've seen Bitcoin have, now we're getting an Ethereum one and we have filings for a Solana one, we were originally laughed at. But the chickens are coming home to roost. And we're going to be talking about that in this video. We're obviously going to be looking at the recent announcement in regards to Coinbase filing for uh, Polkadot futures with the CFTC over in America, kind of giving broader classification that Polkadot is a commodity, not a security. And typically futures... Uh, from Coinbase has followed filings from other institutions in regards to spot ETFs. We're also going to be looking at the fact that the people that offer, the very same people that offer the Bitcoin ETFs, the Ethereum ETFs, and now are filing for Solana ETFs, also offer not just specific Polkadot project, products uh, in the form of ETPs, exchange traded products, but they also offer baskets of cryptocurrencies, whether that be smart contract leaders, whether that be top 10 crypto indexes that all have Polkadot within them. So this is absolutely a video not to miss, ladies and gentlemen. The best place for me to start is in regards to the most recent news that took place yesterday, and that is that Coinbase have submitted filings to list futures for Shiba Inu, AVAX, and other tokens with the CFTC, which stands for the Commodities Futures Trading Commission. So it says crypto exchange giant Coinbase is seeking to add futures related to popular altcoins to its, just get rid of that, derivative exchange. Coinbase submitted five new filings for future products tied to Polkadot, Dot, Shiba Inu, SHIB, XLM, which is Stellar Lumens, AVAX, which is Avalanche, and LINK with the Commodities Futures Trading Commission, according to the firm's website. The exchange slated the product's trading date on or after July the 15th. So this is coming very soon with the addition of AVAX, LINK, DOT, XLM, and SHIB. Our participants and their clients gain more access points to manage risk, speculate on price movements, and participate in the crypto economy with reduced upfront capital requirements. Coinbase wrote on Friday's release, this expansion not only diversifies our product suite, but can also enhance our users' overall trading experience. Now, this is absolutely significant because typically what follows an actual spot product is a uh, futures product. And we've seen Coinbase specifically choose Polkadot. What I want to do now is actually talk about the most recent news that we had. This, of course, occurred on Thursday. And we did say that Solana was an obvious choice to be third in line for an ETF in regards to the cryptocurrency space. Given the fact that if you look at the people that offer... Bitcoin spot ETFs, they all offer other cryptocurrencies in the form of ETPs right now. They're trying to convert them to ETFs, whether it's Grayscale, whether it's Bitwise, whether it's 21 shares, whether it's even Vanek that this, of course, filing relates to in regards to the Solana ETF. Um, Solana's third in terms of holdings, but Polkadot is in there. And Polkadot will, for the same reason we thought Ethereum was going to get an ETF, for the same reason we think Solana is going to get an ETF, eventually get an ETF. And that's going to be huge. That's going to unlock billions of dollars of capital that we're going to see go into the cryptocurrency space. And actually, Polkadot has a great staking reward, which is going to entice many investors, in my opinion, certainly that want to diversify themselves within the cryptocurrency space. Obviously, the Solana ETF has been filed now by Vanek. Vanek also offer their V dot product, which is their Polkadot exchange traded product. This is the chart for the Polkadot chart uh, for the V uh, dot chart, which is Vanek's Polkadot project product. This looks very similar, of course, to the uh, current dot price chart, and it's had its first kind of breakout. We're currently in a correction. I think a bull market is ready to rock and roll. I think there's going to be a big kind of regulatory um hurdle that's going to get overcame that's going to really be a sort of narrative for this bull market not only do vanek offer a specific just like they did with solana dot product they also offer a smart contract leaders etn 
which is a basket of smart contract leaders. And you'll see that Polkadot is very much 6% of this. So the same people that are applying for altcoin ETFs at this point and likely going to get them, just like we've seen with Ethereum, also are likely going to apply for Ethereum, uh, sorry, Polkadot ETFs. This is the reasons that we stated, of course, this is their VSMA, which is the ticker for it, which is their Vanek Smart Contract Leaders ETN. Polkadot very much makes up a part of that. Not only did we see Vanek that also offer Polkadot products file for an ETF for Solana, we also saw 21 shares. Now, those of you that follow me regularly will know that one reason we've given to be bullish technically on the cryptocurrency market is where the ETPs are in regards to basket top 10 crypto indexes and, and basket crypto products that are offered around the world, except for the United States because of that regulatory hurdle. Going back to the Coinbase, it's significant that Coinbase have actually filed with the CFTC at this point in regards to Polkadot. Um, it, it gives a little bit of a vote of confidence that Polkadot is likely going to have a, uh, a an ETF following it. But of course, 21 shares are filed for a Solana ETF application. Again, 21 shares also offer their ADOT, which is solely backed by Polkadot. You can see this is the chart. We'll get rid of the uh, historic volatility. Looks very much like the VDOT, uh, not to be mistaken with Bifrost VDOT, by the way. Um, and they also offer a HODL X crypto basket top 10 ETP. And the holdings of this are Bitcoin, Ethereum, Binance, Coin, Solana, XRP, Cardano, Avalanche, and of course, Polkadot. So this is the HODL ETP. We've also looked at 21 shares' Crypto Basket Index ETP, which we believe is going to uh, over 4x along with Grayscale's Digital Large Cap Funds, which I believe holds Polkadot. We think this is going to around 8x from where it currently is. And that's got to see Polkadot doing well within that. And this leads me to believe that a Polkadot ETF is very much on the not too distant horizon. I think it's significant what we've seen in regards to uh, Coinbase moving and actually filing for futures with a CFTC for Polkadot. You are going to get, in my opinion, and it is totally my opinion, doesn't mean it's going to have to happen, uh, but we've been very right on these calls previously, and we've we, we've kind of um, seen a lot of confirming factors and dominoes fall in regards to what we've been talking about for a long time now. Everyone's kind of catching up to it. You are going to have altcoin ETFs. It's really going to drive the price of these altcoins. It's going to be a big part of the narrative of this bull market. You know, Ethereum ETF. Uh, just um, yesterday on Friday, we actually had a judge dismiss... In the Binance case, BNB is a security on the secondary market, and they did the same thing for XRP. It gives kind of a little bit of broader clarity to the broader crypto space, but Polkadot has never actually been mentioned in any of these lawsuits. Um, we also have Bitwise's top 10 crypto index fund, which of course Polkadot is very much a part of. And this is of course what that fund looks like. And we, th we think there's nearly a 10X coming for, it's about a 9X coming for Bitwise's top 10 crypto index fund. And Polkadot makes up a... Uh, a significant part of that. So again, lots and lots of dominoes are falling in regards to this idea that we've had for a long time now relating to a Polkadot ETF. I think it's a given. I think there's every reason to expect it. And I think actually there's going to be a real institutional appetite for uh, proof of stake cryptocurrencies because of the yield, the staking rewards you can gain off of them. I also think when you talk about the likes of BlackRock and people like that entering the space, they're going to want to have a role in governance. Now, that's going to be very interesting. And the beautiful thing about Polkadot is it literally has, in my opinion, the best governance system that there is. Um, it really does empower the Polkadot holders, the DOT holders. You know, it, it's tried to make it as fair as possible. The problem with proof of stake systems, and, and, and is it a problem? Is it not? Because in one respect you can say well the people that have more dot probably have more of an investment in its success so they're going to vote in a more kind of uh, pro polka dot manner um but polka dot has tried to do things where you can actually leverage through time locks uh, your commitment and, and increase your sort of voting power even if you have a smaller amount of polka dot um it's going to be very interesting and i think we're still yet to see a world where institutions start to play a role in governance of these blockchains these distributed ledgers and i think polka dot is going to 
do very well as a result of all of this. So our main reason, it always has been our main reason for expecting a Polkadot ETF is because we already see a Bitcoin ETF. We knew an Ethereum ETF was going to come technically. We're now seeing Solana ETFs. All the people that offer and are trying to offer these ETFs also offer Polkadot projects. It's very logical to suspect that Polkadot is next on the cards. And of course, the Coinbase news is a little bit confirming in regards to all of that. So that is it from me, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you enjoyed this content as much as I enjoyed presenting it. On that note, I'm going to love and leave you. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. I'll see you all in the next one.